In Japan, RPGs were one of the most popular genre of games in the 1990s. The Super Famicom featured a huge number of them, over 100 in total. However, only a very small portion of those ever reached North America, a market that hadn't taken to the genre yet. One of those that never landed stateside was Emerald Dragon, a game that North American gamers totally missed out on. Because the title wasn't published by either Squaresoft or Enix, it was also much more obscure than it otherwise would have been. Thankfully, like several other RPGs I've covered, this game has a complete translation patch, which originally surfaced in 2008. Thanks to the good folks at Translation Corporation, non-Japanese speaking North American players can experience one of the most overshadowed RPGs of that era. The story follows Atru Shan, a dragon born to the dragon world. At the beginning of the game, he and his group of friends notice a girl shipwrecked near their home. She can't remember anything about her past, but the dragons befriend her and name her Tamarith. As they eventually discover, dragons can exist in Tamarith's hometown, but Atrushan gains the ability to change into human form and gives his horn to Tamarin so that she can call him when in danger. The adventure takes off from there, with the chief adversaries being the army of demons that threatens the world. The story uses a few familiar tropes, but overall, I thought it was actually very original. There are certainly unexpected twists and turns, and interesting character development, and the game doesn't present itself as a ripoff of any other RPG. It's really its own thing. The game features a huge world full of NPCs, items, and storyline development. One of the most standout facets of Emerald Dragon is the large character portraits that accompany the game's dialogue. They stand out stylistically from about every other RPG I played on the system, and were a great touch that other games could have adopted. It sounds simple, but putting a character's words next to their face really does a lot to develop their character, and also gives the player an outlet to better understand the story. These portraits didn't reflect changes in emotional state or anything like that, but they were still refreshing. The way in which they were used reminded me a bit of the Lunar games, and I say that as a big compliment. As far as combat goes, this one is definitely cut from a different cloth. Battles take place in an overhead grid, with a unique bar-based action system. All actions in combat, whether movement or attacks, drain a bar that appears at the top of the screen. When it's completely depleted, the character's turn ends. Even each individual step on the battlefield map takes a small portion of the bar, so you have to plan your movements well more than anything else. Attacks occur merely by running into enemies, you don't have to choose to attack them from any menu. There isn't too much complexity to the battles, but Atrushan does gain the ability to transform into a dragon and utilize some special spells that are really powerful. Unfortunately, Emerald Dragon limits itself a bit by only allowing you to control Atrushan, as his other companions are all controlled through artificial intelligence. If you ask me, this is probably the game's biggest defect, because combat ends up feeling automatic and monotonous. If the combat system wasn't as unique as it is, I dare say the automation part reminds me a bit of Draken, and that is not good. The soundtrack had some really interesting fantasy-oriented tunes, and it really strikes me as a laid-back score overall. I don't think it'll blow you away like Nobuo Uematsu's best work would, but it's definitely a pleasure to listen to. As a whole, Emerald Dragon was a very fun RPG. Its storyline is probably its best aspect, and the character portraits really made you care about and identify with the characters. The combat, while appearing quite novel, unfortunately suffers from player inactivity, but if you can get over that, you'll really like this one. Now I want to hear from all of you. If you've played Emerald Dragon, leave me a comment below about the most memorable aspect to you. Or if you haven't played it yet, tell me what looks interesting about it. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell below to be alerted upon the addition of new ones. Also, please join my Discord community linked in the description and consider supporting my channel via YouTube's join feature to receive member exclusives, such as advanced videos and complete video transcripts.